Hello everyone! The day is finally here of the Royal Windenburg wedding. Um, and I guess technically partly Willow Creek since the bride is from Willow Creek. But I'm so excited. So the wedding is scheduled in our calendar and it should be happening in just a few sim hours. Um, so Prince Henry right now is just freshening up, looking at himself in the mirror. It is the morning of his wedding and it's a huge deal. Um, and I downloaded a venue from the gallery and I have all that venue information from the gallery in the description below. Um, so I downloaded just like the basis of it um, and then they, I just added a few stuff to it. So I will give you a quick tour of the venue before the wedding actually starts. So the wedding is is so soon. It's, at, it's supposed to be at 12 p.m. Um, so I know that Princess Anna is at school right now but she will be here for the wedding. We'll bring her back. Um, and so actually Princess Cora is a young adult now um, and she and also so is Prince Edmund um, from Willow Creek so he's also a young adult. So they're actually going technically as dates to this wedding. I mean it's their brother. It's Princess Cora's brother and Princess Alice's. No I'm sorry. It's Princess yeah, Princess Cora's brother and Prince Edmund's sister is the ones getting married. Um, so, honestly, like, if they were also to get married, it would just be, like, this huge, strong bond between the two families. So, I think it's just going to be a really big deal, and it's starting really soon, and I can't wait. I'm so excited. Um, but let's see. So, Prince Henry, he is just, it looks like they're, like, getting ready to leave. He needs to change into his tux um so i'm gonna have him do that i don't know if it's going to automatically change him into like a different outfit when we go to the venue because i know they'll like pick out a wedding dress sometimes for the bride um but we will have to see what they choose because i'm pretty sure i can just change prince henry into something else um but i don't know if i can if i'd be able to change princess alice and she's not technically part of the family um but, so we have like the parents of the groom, they're going to be there. I've invited basically everyone that I could um, that was still under 15 people um, because that's all we can invite. I Technically, uh, the king and queen aren't really guests on the guest list because I ran out of room, but obviously they will be there and they're going to count as guests either way. It is finally time for the wedding to begin. So we are here at the wedding venue. Everyone is dressed up so nicely. And we have even Princess Alice is in her wedding dress. So before we begin, I'm just gonna give you guys a quick tour. So this is our, and I'll like show the complete thing. So this is our wedding venue. Um, let me just add the little toppers to it too. Oh, I guess they're missing the little cone thingies. Um, so this is our wedding venue. It is a, technically it is a church. Um, I got it from the gallery. And again, the information is in the description below. So we have our arch over here. We have all the seats um, for everyone to watch over here and over there. We have uh, tables and the sweetheart table here with the oven and fridge just in case they need that to bake the cake and other food as well for the caterer. We have our dance floor here, a few more tables over here and the DJ table and also the bar is right over here. Um, and then we have our pianos up there and I just realized that I don't know how, yeah, I have no idea how the entertainers going to get up there so that should be interesting we'll have to see but yeah so this is our venue and we are going to start this wedding so the first thing we are going to do is get married so our guests have gathered here there should be a few more guests I'm actually just to make sure that everyone is here let's see like King Easton I'm gonna invite him to hang out I don't know how he didn't make it on the guest list I don't know if he's like a technically officially met Prince Henry yet, but maybe that's why. Uh, oh no, you know what, Sir Davin will probably not be invited because of, if you've seen the last episode, because of what he did to Princess Cora. So he's not invited, um, but yeah, okay, pretty much everyone else that we wanted to invite is here. So the first thing we are going to do is get married to Princess Alice. So we can have all of the guests gather here. And then let's see, we want everyone to be seated. So we're gonna have them sit in these little pew things here. I guess they're not technically pews, they're just benches. But let's see, let me sit, and then we're gonna have them sit here too. 
Okay, and then we are going to have Princess Alice. Oh, so excited, guys! This is too, too cute. Okay. She looks so serious. Why is she so serious? I guess they're waiting for all of the guests to sit, maybe? I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay, there we go. Oh, this is really sweet, guys. I'm so excited they're finally getting married. They've been together for so long since they were kids. Okay. Oh, and there goes the queen just walking by. They're just like kissing each other's cheeks and hands before they get married, I guess. It's just them saying their vows. She seems so giddy. It's adorable. I wish I could pick her wedding dress a little bit better, but that's fine. She still looks gorgeous. I love Princess Alice. I'm so excited for her to join our family. They're taking their sweet time. <laughs> their ceremony is lasting quite a while. Let's see. Is our guests watching? They're dancing, it looks like. I can see them dancing. Alright, and there they go. They're putting on the rings. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, look at that big diamond. That looked like an engagement ring, though, to be honest. Isn't it supposed to be a wedding band? I think this venue is so perfect for their wedding, too. So I'm really excited that I found this. Um, and I'm so excited to have our reception party here as well. Oh, they're married! So you can now have your Mary Sims moved in? Yep. Okay, so we'll definitely do that after the wedding. So everyone is dancing around them. This is so funny. Is she wearing the same dress as her on? I think she is. That's fine. Okay. So everyone is like just dancing away. They're so excited about this wedding. So they're saying like, thank you everyone. Thank you for coming to our ceremony. And then we have time for, so I, I have brought the wedding cake because I knew this was going to be a problem with making the cake. So the cake is here. I put it in his inventory. So we now have the cake. So that's the first thing we're going to do. So I'm going to add a wedding topper to the cake. Well, why don't we have for the other guests, we can have Princess Cora. I think she's going to start, where is Prince Edmund? Is he here? He should be here, he was invited. Let's see. Look at all the guests here. Okay, so this is Sir Derek. That's Sir Franklin, that's Sir Cousin. We have Marquis Ross, he is here. We have, let's see, this is Queen Elena. That's her mother. She's probably just saying congratulations. Oh, nope. We're not playing as, as Princess Alice. I forgot. So everyone is just dancing, really. Okay, so let's see. We are missing a few people, so we definitely need them to come. I swear Prince Edmund was invited, so we're going to have to invite him. But I can have Princess Anna. She kind of has a thing for Sir Derek, so... I'm going to have her flirt with him for a little bit. So the king and queen are breaking down on the dance floor together. Uh, we have our bar over here. So I'm actually going to have the queen grab a drink. So let's order a drink, order whatever her favorite drink is. Someone's calling Princess Cora. Um, no, that's fine. Okay, so Prince... Edmund is here. He has arrived. So they are, it looks like they're going to, oh, they're both very flirty. So it looks like they're both into each other right now. But they're going to just sit by the dance floor and um, hang out with each other. So I'll probably have them flirt a little bit more. Um, and they also want to probably get to know each other because I don't think they have actually talked too much since the last video um, and in the last video so Princess Cora she has just gotten out of a pretty long relationship so this we are taking pretty slow but they're both young adults now um, so I mean whenever they want to and whenever they're ready they can definitely become engaged so why don't they discuss dance techniques and then we will have Prince Henry he needs to flirt with his wife this is have betrothed flirt with each other. So we'll have him flirt with Princess Alice and kiss her. Um, have him caress her cheek. I think I just saw that was an option. Oh, okay. We can embrace her. 
And then we need to do a few more flirting interactions. So, uh, blow a kiss. Okay. All the guests are kind of just gathered over here, and I don't know why. Oh gosh, awkward encounter. Probably because her cousin is in that conversation, and he might think he's flirting, or they're flirting with him. Which is just, like, they sims take it way too seriously. When they're in a group conversation, and someone is flirting with another person, it's like everyone thinks that they're flirting with them, so it's super weird, and then it's just really awkward. And then how is it going with Princess Cora? They are flirting a lot. It looks like they're getting along really well. They have such, like, they seem so attracted to each other. Take selfie with fan. You can share photos. Um, yeah, we don't want this to go too fast. They probably wouldn't even try to kiss each other for a good amount of time. I don't know. It's been, like, maybe a week, I guess, since... Like, a, a sim week um, since her and Sir Javin broke up. So, I mean, it's it's been a good amount of time, really. But let's see. Okay, so declare weather preference. Declare love for the sun. Okay. Queen is... Oh, they've both reached level dancing skill of five. So now it looks like more people are kind of dancing on the dance floor. Um, where is our groom? What is he doing? He's just chatting, it looks like, with Princess Alice. Did we invite everyone to come eat the cake? I don't think we did. Okay, so why don't we call to meal? But I don't think I don't think Prince Henry needs another bite of the cake because he's already had some. And then, let's see, Princess Cora still chat. Oh, they're still sitting and chatting together. They are just kind of secluded. They're getting along really well. Like, I think this wedding is just giving them time to really get to know each other a bit more and become more friendly and obviously flirt a little bit more, too. So it looks like the guests are all grabbing the cake now. Now we are in the banquet hall, so let's see if they actually seat each other. I didn't put any centerpieces just because I figured that, I don't know, if we needed to put the cake on one of the tables, there wouldn't be any room. I probably should have put some centerpieces on here. But I think it still looks really pretty. These chairs are really gorgeous, especially with the drapes. So, and then I, I couldn't put a wall here because it looks like um, the creator of this venue, they used these like really big half walls, and I guess they must have made them bigger to have made this whole platform thing so I couldn't really put walls without it looking a little funny so that's just I don't know that's kind of how it went with the venue okay so people are sitting down to eat the food looks like our wedding is almost over so after this we can move Princess Alice into the household so I'm super excited to finally be playing with Princess Alice um, I mean we are we're gonna have a really full household and they're going to stay at the castle for quite a while so I guess they could, we could probably make their own little suite if we wanted to, but for now they're just going to have Prince Henry's room, so we'll kind of have to see how that goes. So it looks like the wedding is almost over, but we did get to kind of see everyone. So I mean, we have Queen Arya here, the Queen of Oasis Springs, Queen Elena, and King Derek. And then we have Marquis Ross, which is their uncle technically because he's married to their aunt, Princess, or not Princess, um, Marquis Eliza. She was technically a princess because that is their father's sister. And then we have their cousins are all here for the wedding. We've got some people on the dance floor. Um, it didn't look like that many people had too many drinks, um, but it looks like a few of them. Like, our family, for sure, is huge dancers, apparently. I don't know why more people aren't dancing, because I feel like usually a lot of people are dancing a lot at the events. Um, it looks like the prince has, is, has sat down. He's taking a break. I don't know why his cousin is in the sweetheart table next to his wife. So that's not his, and he definitely needs to move. Yeah, I should have put some sort of just centerpieces on here, too. That would have been cool. And now he's walking to the table. All right, that's fine. Just, you do that. That's one way to do it. Guys, they're finally married! I'm so excited! They are too cute. We've been waiting for this forever, honestly. Like, it's just been a while. I know it's been a few episodes, too, since they got engaged, so I'm sure you guys were waiting for this, too. Um, but I'm, I'm so excited because this is like the royal wedding. I mean, this is where, I mean, this is, I mean, he's going to be the king. It's the king and queen of, of Windenburg now, and I'm so excited. 
um, and I'm excited to continue the generations with them also. So they are probably just going to, oh, she's so happy, she's jumping up and down. Um, so, I mean, we can, like, thank our guests for coming. It looks like the wedding is pretty much over, though. It should have ended a little bit ago. But, yeah, we can just thank people for coming because it's probably time to say goodbye now. So we can now move Princess Alice into our household, and I'm so excited. Um, so, yeah, she is definitely going to move in with them. And now we're going to have, we have a pretty full house now. So we have six members of our household. That's going to be a lot. Um, I kind of debated moving Princess Alice and Prince Henry into, like, their own place until they, like, become king and queen. But, I don't know, since they are the the next king and queen and they honestly probably will be pretty soon i think that they should just stay here um i don't know and if it gets too crowded and too complicated m maybe we will move them into like another really nice castle maybe they'll like have a castle built for them or something in windenburg um but for now we will just keep them here so we are going to go ahead and send Princess Alice and Prince Henry on their honeymoon. And it looks like that they brought us back to the venue, but that's totally fine. So yeah, we're going to send them off on their honeymoon, and I'm going to end this video here. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, we finally had the Royal Windenburg Wedding, so this is the big one. Um, of course, the sisters still have to get married, but probably won't just be it might be extravagant but maybe I'll change it up a little bit put it at a different venue or something so thank you guys again so much for watching don't forget to subscribe like comment any suggestions on the video and I hope you are looking forward to the next episode